Hey, Clemens Ross with the Re Romero Ross Group at Berkshire Hathaway bringing you the August real estate market update for San Diego County. Here we go. So inventory, inventory decreased about 10% from June to July and bring it to one month's worth of inventory. Compare that to the same time last year, we actually saw a uh, decrease as well, 4.3%, but we had a 2.2 months worth of inventory. So that you can see that that's uh, a lot lower about 50% lower than what we have right now. For pending sales, pending sales saw a 7.8% decrease from June to July, bringing the total for 2,380 pending sales for detached properties in San Diego County. You can see that compared to the same time last year, we saw a 13% increase, uh, bringing the total to 2,729. And continued the increase into uh, August. This was probably caused by the COVID-19 restrictions that which happened between uh, around March to May or April. And what this, what this caused was a pushback in this start of the spring season, uh, buying season. As you can see, this year we saw that spring buying season start a little bit earlier in February. Usually it starts out in March to April, uh, but usually a decrease in pending sales from June and July is common if we go back five years or so. So uh, you can see that that reflects a 12.8% decrease from uh, 2020. This should have been 2020 um, to July of this year, 2,380 sales compared to 2,729. For price, price we actually saw prices stabilize around um, $496 a square foot. That reflects that 877,000 uh, price for a single family detached home in San Diego. Uh, compare that to last year, we saw a whopping 30% increase this compared to the same time last year from $379 a square foot, foot or $720,000 for a medium price home to 496 and $877,000 for uh, medium priced home in San Diego County. Prices in different areas, Coronado, La Jolla, downtown San Diego, Chula Vista. These are the areas that we're uh, focusing in. Uh, we saw little increase except we had a 2.8 increase in prices for Chula Vista from $253 a square foot to $263 a square foot. And uh, we saw slight increases in La Jolla downtown and no increase for uh, Coronado. Same time last year, we can see that there was a 17% increase for Chula Vista from $310 square foot to $363. By the way, this community is below the San Diego County average, uh, medium price, which is, uh, as I said earlier, in the 400s, uh, high 400 uh, per square foot. And we can see that 11% increase for La Jolla, 8% for Coronado, and 5% for downtown. Luxury pending sales decreased about 15% uh, to 177 pending sales for properties over 2 million. Again, you see similar trends. Uh, in July of last year, there was an increase and it did really start to come down until uh, October. Luxury inventory also saw a decrease of about 7% and a, that's a 67% decrease from the same time last year. Well, we think that uh, in the next couple months, I think prices are going to be stabilizing and uh, we still have a lot low inventory. We've, we have seen um, a lot of activity on the market. So there's still a lot of buyers out there that are looking to purchase properties. So if you are interested in property, putting your property on the market, this may be a good time. Uh, go to www.mysandiegovalue.com to track your home's value. Feel free to text me at 619-646-8136 if you have any questions. And uh, also don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube pages. Thank you very much and have a great day. See you next month.